My name is Udvardini Lukacilona. I'm the president of the Hungarian Commodore Club and the founder and owner of Szent Miklósi Kékuti Commodore Kennel. This kennel was founded in the 1980s. Uh, my husband always had hunting dogs, mainly Hungarian Bishlas. In my childhood I didn't have any connection with dogs, I got to know them by my husband. One day somebody came into our yard and stole all of our clothes that were dried on the clothesline. At that moment we decided that we need a guarding dog and I insisted that it should be a Hungarian breed and we went on to find the ideal dog for us. First we visited different Kuvas canals and then later Commodores and we decided to have a Commodore because of its uh, special character. Of course I read a lot about the characteristics of different breeds. It was my c conviction and still is that you have to be prepared to find your ideal dog. A little bit later my husband brought us a five-month-old uh, Commodore bitch. Her name was Barbie and everything was starting from there. I was shocked by her character in a positive sense. Even as a puppy she instinctively felt my mood and feelings. If I was happy she played with me, but if I was sad, she just walked with me and leaned at me. Another bitch, Szent Ivani Torkos Terka, has founded our kennel. We bought her in 1981 and uh, we started to go on shows with her with very nice results. We had our first Commander Litter when she was three years old. It was a fantastic experience when many snowballs were running around the yard. When I started to deal with Commodore seriously, I collected all available writings about the breed. The first written sources about the Commodore are present since the early 15th century. The Commodore has had a very, very sad history, mainly in the Second World War era. As Commodores defended their homes to death, the invading German and the Russian soldiers shot them, otherwise they couldn't go into the houses. At that time, Hungarian peasant houses didn't have gates, but the Commodores knew the borders of the yards precisely and defended them without the slightest sign of corruption. After the war, it was terribly difficult to collect the remaining commanders and restarted breeding work as almost all dogs were shot by the invading troops. On the basis of medieval sources, it seems quite certain that the Commodore breed has arrived uh, to the Carpathian basis in the 9th century with the arriving Hungarian tribes. Their task was to guard the herds against bears, wolves and men. This is why it was extremely important that the Commodore has had white color. This differentiated them from the attacking animals helping the herdsmen. Uh, this is why all other colors were excluded from the breeding and it is still the situation today. In the 1990s there were news about black commandos, which was absolutely fake news. Some breeders crossed commandos with the black Russian terriers, which were, of course, not commandos. We, the Hungarian Commodore Club, do whatever we can against trial like this. 
It is important to know about the Commodore that they are mainly fearless uh, territory guard dogs who protect their territory even by the cost of their life. If they are out of their territory, for example, on shows, they behave themselves very well in a socialized, socialized manner. Their territory is another story. If the owner is not close, they don't let anybody enter. Uh, what is an important characteristic of the Commodore is that they never maul or tear the flesh of the intruder. They hit the intruder down and don't let them uh, move or escape. They are waiting until the owner's decis decision. We have a lot of interesting stories in connection with this behavior, even with dogs who were bred uh, by others. One of our clients who bought a Commodore from us is an artist couple who live in the countryside, but in the winters they move to Budapest, to the capital of Hungary. Their uh, countryside manor is guarded by a Commodore who they visit and feed every day or every second day. On one winter the yard water tap was broken, the water leaking and the neighbor who otherwise know the Commodore well thought to repair uh, the tap and uh, enter the yard. Of course the Commodore thought it otherwise as the owner wasn't present. He hit the adult male to the ground and lay on him, waiting for his owner uh, to leave. As the Commodore's fur is big, it was warmed uh, the body of the neighbor and fortunately the owners arrived soon, the same day, and released the guy from its miserable captivity. The Commodore is an ancient breed and the guarding instincts are in its genes. They shouldn't be taught how to protect the territory and their owner. Of course, like every giant breed, the Commodore has to be taught obedience basics when they are young. But guarding behavior is genetically coded into them. For long centuries, only those dogs could survive who had the best abilities and instincts. They are very big dogs with 60 to 70 kilograms 130-160 pounds of weight and they are fearful for most intruders. Uh, in spite of their size and character they are fully accept the pack leader status of the owners. I never heard about any attempts from any commandors to take the leader status from their owner. It is very in interesting to see what, that even the puppy's behavior, the guarding instinct and mistrustfulness against stranger expresses their main character at a very early age. On winters, when snow falls down, it is interesting to, to watch the guard patrol route of the Commodore as they walk around every night regularly and watches over their territory. The best you can do with the Commodore is that you create a high ground or a small hill for them with the, within the yard. From there they can look around their territory and react immediately when it is needed. The Commodores have unprecedented physical ability. They can jump up even to 2 meters 6 .6 feet high and in the air they can turn around 180 degrees in spite of their weight. If somebody appears in their back, they jump up, turn back in the air and attack immediately if needed. Besides these traits, they are absolutely family-centered nannies to the children in the family. We have friends where the kids learn to walk with grabbing the cords of their Commodore. The Commodore is getting more and more popular all around the world from Israel to Russia. Some of our Commodores live in Russia, Germany, Romania and Slovakia. In the Czech Republic we have a friend who uses Commodores for the rehabilitation work of ill persons 
the breed tolerates disabled persons very very well. A lot of times I hear that the breed is not chosen because there are problems in quotes with their fur. For this I usually say that all dog owners have to deal with the fur of their dogs. Some dogs are shedding while the commodores never shed. The commodore have three fur types, the dreadlocks, the cords and the curly coat. Of course you have to deal with a coat like this. Generally speaking, in every seven months you have to tear up the cords from the bottom to the skin, which is some hours of work, work in every half a year. Our commodores love it and consider it as a kind of a game. They lay motionless at the feet of the owner. If you don't want to do this, then you have to do what the ancient herdsmen did. When they cut the wool of their sheep, they usually cropped the fur of the commodore as well, every or every second early spring. By winter time, the fur grew to 2 to 3 centimeters, so the commodore didn't freeze. In the old days, the dreadlocks of the commodores worked like a shield and armor against predators, as they couldn't bite through the abundant cords. It was an ultimate uh, protection. Uh, the commodore is an above the average healthy breed. Dysplasia, dysplasia is quite unknown amongst uh, commodores. The only known illness is the entropium which is the disease of the eyelids. Of course, this illness can be easily corrected by surgery, but those commodores who have this illness are excluded from the breeding program, as it can be inherited in bloodlines. This is the only known illness of the commodores. They are a tough and very healthy breed. Genetically, missing teeth has disappeared from the com Commodore bloodlines as a result of the efforts of the Hungarian Commodore Club. Dogs need all their teeth to live and work effectively, so we concentrated on it very deeply. Unfortunately, the number of Commodores is very few presently. In Hungary, approximately uh, 250 officially registered commodores are born every year and there there are around 2000 commodores in the country fortunately the breed is more and more popular in other regions it seems that the program of the hungarian commodore club is on its track track we go for dog shows dog gatherings and we try to make the breed more popular what is a real pleasure for us is that Commodores are liked more and more by the young generation. They really admire the sincerity and trustfulness of the breed. We are the founders of St. Miklosi Kekuti Kennel since the 1980s. Approximately 300 puppies were born in our kennel and they are all around the world. We are very proud of our results. We have a lot of show winners and kennel founders, for example, in the United States. Our working breed line is also very strong. We have dogs who got chicken far farms, for example, in Israel, and a dog who was a perfect guardian uh, in a big German jewelry shop. When this dog passed away, its owner wrote us a letter and said, that he will never had any other breed to guard and as a pet than the Commodore.